Hello, and welcome to the Open Dental webinar on the Pre-Data Conversion Checklist. Today, we will go over how to review important data in the Open Dental Test Conversion. We will look at demographic and insurance information in the Family Module. We will check for payments, adjustments, and completed procedures in the Account Module. In the Appointments Module, we will check for appointments, operatories, and blockouts. In the chart module, we will verify procedures, tooth graphics, clinical notes, medical information, and perio charts. And then we will take a quick look at lists and how to bridge to a third-party imaging software. Prior to moving forward with your final conversion, it is essential that you thoroughly review the test conversion data by comparing patient accounts and information in your prior software with patient accounts and information in the Open Dental test conversion. Keep in mind that the final conversion will not materially differ from your test conversion, so it is important that you are satisfied with how the data converted before scheduling a final conversion. When reviewing, we recommend choosing 10 patients who have a balance and insurance. Try to include at least two patients with negative balances. And try to pick at least two family accounts with a more complex charting and accounting history. We will begin by reviewing the family module to check the guarantor and for accurate patient and insurance information. Use the Select Patient button to search for a patient in Open Dental. We can then move into the family module and check the guarantor. The family member designated as the guarantor appears first in the family member list and is in bold. Next, we'll check the patient information. Patient information can be accessed by double-clicking in the patient information area to open the edit patient information window. Here, we can check for name, position, birth date and age, and address information. Patient addresses are truncated in the test conversion, so you will only be able to view the first few characters. Insurance information can be accessed by double-clicking on the insurance plan to open the Edit Insurance Plan window. Here, we can check for employer, carrier information, group number, and benefit information. Depending on the software you are converting from, the test conversion may include plan notes, which can be verified in the bottom left, and subscriber notes, which can be verified on the top right. In some instances, we are able to convert ben benefit information directly so it will match your prior software. Other times, the benefits may be auto-generated at 100% for diagnostic and routine preventative services, 80% for basic services, and 50% for major services. Sometimes we are unable to convert any benefit information at all, so be sure to verify the benefit percentages carefully. Next, we will review the account module for accurate payment information, adjustments, and completed procedures. It is critical to review the account module thoroughly as individual family member balances may not be identical to your prior software, even though the total family balances may be accurate. When payments are taken in many softwares, the total payment simply reduces the balance by the amount of the payment. In Open Dental, the payments are allocated to specific services using a payment split, which can be seen on the bottom left when double-clicking into a payment. Because this payment allocation data does not exist in the prior software, one aspect of the conversion is a system-wide reallocation of funds, matching up all historic income and production. Payments get distributed to services in the order they were completed, rather than necessarily being attached to the patient who made the original payment. As a result, your total family balances may be equal between the two softwares, but you may need to move income around to get individual balances to look the same. 
This also may not be an issue for you if you have chosen to zero out your balances and move forward using this new accounting style. However, in both cases, you'll see that each account has an income transfer on the date of the conversion, moving the payments to all of the existing services. You can verify individual and family balances by reviewing the Select Patient Grid in the Account module. Click on a patient to see their account, or click Entire Family to view the account history for all family members simultaneously. By default, payments will appear as green line items in the patient account grid, and will include the payment date, notes, and the amount. You can also double click into the payment to verify this information the payment date, the amount, and the note. Normally, claim payments will, are attached directly to claims. However, we are unable to convert claims for most prior softwares. So instead, insurance payments appear in the account as patient payments with the type of conversion insurance payment. By default, Adjustments will appear as blue line items in the patient account grid and will include the adjustment date, notes, and the amount of the adjustment. You can also double click into the adjustment to verify this information. The adjustment date, the amount, and the notes. By default, completed procedures will appear as black line items in the patient account grid and will include the procedure date, and the fee. You can also double click into the completed procedure to verify this information. Next, we will review the appointments module. You should review a variety of different appointment types, such as fillings, crowns, and recalls, to make sure that all data that should be attached to the appointment is accurate. You can quickly switch days to view appointments using the calendar on the top right of the appointments module. The currently selected day is highlighted, and today's date is surrounded by a square. You can easily jump back to today by clicking the Today button just beneath the calendar. For each appointment, you will want to verify the date, the time, and the length of the appointment, as well as if it's in the correct operatory. To verify the procedures on the appointment, double-click the appointment to open the Edit Appointment window. The highlighted procedures in the Procedures on this appointment grid show which procedures are attached to this appointment. Other information that can be verified from the Edit Appointment window includes the status of the appointment, if it's been confirmed, the providers on the appointment, and any appointment notes. Depending on the software you are converting from, the test conversion may include blockouts, which can also be verified in the appointments module. Next, we will review the chart module for accurate procedures, notes, tooth chart graphics, and medical information. Procedures will appear in the progress notes grid. In the test conversion, Temporary T codes replace copyrighted codes such as CDT or CDA codes. In the first column, you can verify the procedure date. Further to the right, you can verify the procedure status as treatment planned, completed, existing other, which indicates work done by a provider outside of your practice, or referred out. For procedures that include a fee, the fee is listed in the amount column. And any procedure notes will display beneath the procedure. You can also double click into the procedure to verify the date, the fee, the procedure status, and any notes. Some other dental softwares have clinical notes or daily notes in addition to a procedure note. However, in Open Dental, 
those are all ordinary procedure notes attached to a stand-in procedure code. Here in the chart module, we can also view the two graphics and verify accurate display of existing and treatment plan procedures, as well as correct dentition. By default, treatment plan procedures show in red or light red, existing other procedures show as green or light green, and completed procedures appear as blue or light blue. Medical information, such as problems, medications, and allergies, will appear in the light red area of the patient information box and should be checked for completeness and accuracy. You can also double click into the light red area to open the medical window and verify medical information, problems, medications, and allergies. If we were able to convert perio charting, these will be located by clicking the perio chart button on the toolbar. Next, you should review the content under the main menu and lists. We recommend reviewing employers, insurance carriers, insurance plans, medications, problems, and referrals, in addition to any other list that your office uses regularly. Finally, if you will be bridging to a third-party x-ray software, verify that the bridge is functional by clicking on the program link button that appears on the toolbar and verifying that the third-party software opens with the selected patient. In addition to the suggested reviews on the pre-data conversion checklist, you should verify any other data your office relies on. If you do not see the information you are looking for in your test conversion, the data was probably not converted. If you find an issue in the test conversion, contact Open Dental Support to discuss. In some cases, we can make enhancements and provide a new test conversion for review. Keep in mind your final conversion will be nearly identical to the test conversion. Once the final conversion is delivered and you begin entering new data, there can be no further enhancements to the converted data without risk of data loss. In addition to reviewing your test conversion, be sure to consider other processes that may be affected by a conversion, such as third-party integrations like clearinghouses, patient communication, and payment processors. You will also want to have a plan for how you will handle billing, recreate outstanding claims, run reports, and maintain valid backups of the database. This concludes the Open Dental webinar on the pre-data conversion checklist. If you have any questions or need assistance while reviewing your test conversion, please contact your onboarding coordinator or call technical support. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have any additional questions, please contact our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos by subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications.